Hey everybody, it's 8.10. I'm supposed to meet the boss at 8.30 for breakfast. And I'm a little nervous, a little excited. It's my first day and um, I'm gonna keep you updated. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, Travis here after my first full day of working as a software developer. So as you know, if you've read my blog or watched any of my videos, I just spent the last year and a half as a freelance web developer, I did it, I blogged about it, and you may know me from that. You may be like, whoa, he took a job, he's an employee? Yeah, I am, so if you don't know why, or why that's a good thing for me, make sure you watch the last video, I'll totally explain it. So anyway, today was my first day as an employee, and I wanna talk about it, and because my channel is kind of targeted to developers, I want to give you two takeaways for either your first day on the job as a developer, as a junior developer maybe, or your first day on a new job anywhere. So number one, preparing for that first morning meeting. So this morning I was nervous, excited nervous, and nervous nervous. And that's natural, but it still doesn't, you know, by saying it's natural doesn't make it easier to prepare for this. But we all know that, that it's, it's a completely made up scenario that say, say that you uh, accepted an offer and they're like, hey, we want you to start in three weeks. Well, you got three weeks to make up this absurd scenario of how everything's gonna go, nobody's gonna like you, and, and uh, you're gonna say something dumb or something like that. You know, I did it too, it's natural, but 99% of the time you realize, you know, within five minutes of meeting the people that, hey, I don't know why I ever thought that, this is going great. And uh, you are who you are, they are who they are, and again, 99% of the time, it's just gonna mix, you're gonna have a good day, things are gonna go well. And so it went, it went like that for me today, it went great, and these people are wonderful, and I'm looking forward to the future. And um, so that's, that's number one. You're gonna get nervous, it's natural, but just know that things will go fine. All right, the second thing I learned is really neat. I mean, this is great. And I'll explain it this way. I could not get a definitive answer on what language the developer has the most experience with in the past. And it wasn't that he didn't have an answer. It was a whole different mindset that I didn't have until now. I understand now. And here's the reason why. Because some people have a solid foundation in coding and they work for a company and they're expected to adapt to different frameworks and languages if that happens. So the site was in something else, it had to come to WordPress, they didn't have any experience with WordPress, but the site got built and it's beautiful. How did that happen? How can you be a person that um, can just adapt to any language like that? Here's how and here's the skill you need to develop. That skill is being able to read documentation. So here were a few answers I got. So I was told, um, he said, so we implemented this new feature here and it made it do this and that and then this thing broke. So I did a little research, I read the documentation, I found out that they have this thing here and so we fixed it. And then we ended up, you know, they wanted this and that so we implemented this other feature and it broke this kind of thing and so I did a little research, I read through the documentation, I found some fixes in the documentation that, that caused this and that to happen. And, and that's how it went. It went like, uh, in, in common speech, it's this. Hey, I know the foundations, and I've grown in my ability to read documentation to the point where I can adapt to whatever needs to be done. Oh, we're gonna work, we're gonna move this way, we're gonna work on this thing, I can adapt because I learned to read documentation. So I thought that was really neat. You know, on Twitter we're like, and I'm guilty of all this too, on Twitter we're like, hey, I got uh, eight, eight Udemy courses on React. And uh, so I bought a ninth one because I think it, it, it better fits with my learning style. And so I'm just gonna become really good at React. I'm gonna become a React developer. And sometimes that happens. You get a job doing that. And of course, in job interviews, you got to be able to nail down that kind of thing. But I'm talking about kind of long term. So that's how we do it, and that's how I did it. I was like, you know, PHP, WordPress for a long time, and then I got into some other stuff, and I'm trying to nail down all these little things. And meanwhile, there's developers out there that are just like kind of free, like, hey, I got the foundations, and I understand the logic, I know things, functions, classes, objects, I know all of these things, and I can read documentation. And so I can learn this in order to build it. And if we need this, oh, you need a plugin? Well, yeah, I can learn that too by reading that, the docs. 
And all of this is not for me to be like, hey, stop learning your particular specialty. It's just saying, hey, learn to read documentation and be flexible with your fa coding foundations to be able to shift around as needed. And that leads me to my last point. I think I said two points, maybe I got three points. And it's this. If you're like, hey, like I said, I got eight React courses, I'm gonna buy the ninth one because I think this one may do me better. If you're in that situation, it may be a possibility that you are already really good, but you're just not satisfied yourself with where you're at. So you may already be like, I, I, I used to work WordPress, I used to work PHP, I used to know C++, but right now I, I'm just gonna spend my main time learning React. And then as soon as I feel comfortable with that, I'll finally be able to apply for jobs. Hey, don't do that. You may be better than you think if you develop the skill of reading the documentation, being able to research things and understand how things work. And that's all. I thought that was really neat. Um, you know, I, I, went into, I went in with this mindset, I came out with this mindset. So I'm excited. Right now we're working in WordPress. I'm very familiar with WordPress, but we're probably soon going to be moving into a Node Express environment, which I have a little experience with. I've built a little bit with it. But, hey, I can adapt, and I'm willing to learn, and there's a couple things that I, I need to work on. Like today I saw a lot of SQL queries, and I saw a lot of promises. And those are two things that I'm familiar with and I've done, but i got to get better at it. So I'm taking all of this from today, and I'm saying, hey, I need to work on that. I need to get that mindset right. And, hey, you may be better than you think. So that's all. Uh, stay tuned for something else this week. I don't know what it'll be, but uh, have a good one.